Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be talking about my overall thoughts and opinions on Buzzsaw. Now this week is going to be my overall thoughts and opinions about most animatronics of Spirit Halloween. It's going to end on Sunday. So if you want to see this kind of like series for this year, um, make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. So let's just get started into today's video. So, Buzzsaw is a prop sold for 2021 and in 2022, but online only, and a reduced price, which is insane. He went to 280 to 300 That's ridiculous. I mean, it's nothing th that bad or anything, you know? I'm just, like, kind of wondering, like, why he did that. I mean, sure... Prices have gone up this year. It's really annoying, you know? And I don't understand why they couldn't just keep them as original price. I was happy buying that much for Shwoody and Mr. Dark, but this is just ridiculous. So, Buzzsaw is an animatronic um, that has a saw and a hammer on both sides. He says six phrases, and he is... Enormous. I mean, you can't miss him. Look at that guy. You could tell that he has so much donuts for today. Looks like. Uh, so, um, yeah. Th he is absolutely enormous. He is literally as tall as a human being compared to, like, he is apparently six, I don't know. Like, seven or six feet tall. It depends. Like, there's no hat. Like, if you had a hat, it's probably, like, I don't know. It's not ten feet. Because if it's ten feet, it would be up to the 12-foot skeleton's, um, I don't know, like, hands or something. Like, the top of his hands. But he's not that tall. I'll tell you that. He is not that tall. I'm, like, I'm, like, up to his chin. So... You can see that he's a little bit taller than a regular human being. So that's why I said I was up to his chin. You know? So, this guy is absolutely amazing. They just did a really good detail. He did participate in the Graveyard Shift cast, which is kind of amazing. Looks like you need a little trimming. A nip here, a tuck there. <laughs> You'll be perfect in no time. Did you see that? I saw that. <laughs> you need to be cut down to size. I've got a hammer, and I hammer in the evening all over this place. <laughs> so, that was Buzzsaw. I don't know how I... Like, he is kind of a cool prop, but he's 300, and I almost went broke because of him. And I'm not sure. That's not his fault. I really don't know why. His, um, his prop is an absolute amazing. His box is absolutely incredible, and I just love him i don't even care if i go bro because he is a really cool prop he will go great with rusty because i have rusty i know a lot of people will hate me for that unless people like rusty and all but the thing is i actually not selling rusty i'm not because if i get buzzsaw he will do great in my display like, we'll have to add, like, an extra, like, what is it called? Like, it could be, like, a factory, I think. Do these characters, like, Buzzsaw does appropriately belong in a factory. But, 
Um, I'm not sure if Rusty does, because he appeared in only the uh, SS Riptide, and mostly in the Reaper's Island. So, I'm not sure how much of an experience um, Rusty will have. But, it's just like, I don't even know what it's called necessarily. I mean, it's not too bad for, I don't really know. It's just an amazing prop overall, and I absolutely love it. It's... Like, abs you could even see that he's huge. He has those two handles on his box, which just shows him that he he's huge. I mean, seriously. Wow, he is absolutely amazing. I'm actually really amazed by this. And no, it's not sarcasm. I can guarantee you this is not sarcasm. He is at least a little bit times better than uh, Rusty. So he appears, like I said, in the Halloween Factory assembly line, which is kind of amazing. He, like, pushes Punctured P right next to him. That is so hysterical that he just randomly pushes him. Like, he squeezes him in because he's literally, like, I don't know how long he is because I only had him for, like, three days, so. And I just... Never pay attention to that because he will. Because I think he's absolutely humongous and I absolutely love him. I know I'm saying that a lot, but it's just really awesome to see him. And like I said, he does participate in the graveyard shift, which is kind of cool. Uh, he, a lot of people thought he was Leatherface, but it turns out it was Buzzsaw. Yep. And there was a buzzsaw similar in 2012, um, but we're not going to show this in this video. I might put the link in the description below if you want to check out that wiki. But as you may know, you could find this buzzsaw wiki page anywhere. So he participated in a Spirit Halloween fan film, which is... Um, I don't... Really no, really. Uh, it's just like an actual movie because he will be appearing in the Spirit Howie in the movie, like I discussed yesterday. And yeah, you could see in his eyes that he would love to be in the part of the movie. Look at his face, man. Look at his face. He's just so happy to be in the Spirit Howie in the movie, aren't you, buddy? So yeah, he does make a big reappearance again. Uh, Pete, but just as like a portrait not gonna lie i actually did buy this portrait i think it's pretty cool um it will be kind of cool to see uh him in the movie we only saw him with uh, with one sound effect and that's all so will he not be speaking i mean come on these animatronics have awesome lines and you don't need to pay for any of that like this is low budget films it's a low budget film no offense but he, he's not. The, it's not done there. He also makes a reappearance in the foot um, pad activator. You could just see as I zoom in carefully. You could see that that's his head and his saw. It looks kind of. I don't know. I'm not gonna get that foot pad, but that looks absolutely incredible. And they could just add him in the display. He belongs in, um, like a laboratory i think it would be cool he, so many people bought him it's just really unacceptable to return and they have like three animatronics that return that's all and i mean sure 2022 animatronics are pretty cool but 2023 has to be big like i'm thinking of like every spirit halloween theme in one big theme and it could be spirit halloween film set or something so here's buzzsaw not to mention he has half a saw but we won't talk about that because we don't talk about Buzz. So I'm such an idiot. Okay. So, yeah. He is absolutely incredible. I have... You could even... you Those chords in his saw look so real. You could tell they did pretty good. The artist did a pretty good um, sculpting. 
or I don't know any of the jobs, so I'm not sure how I should be speaking. But yeah, that is a pretty good effect. You can see his price tag is a little bit overpriced, but for 2021, that's not bad. I mean, come on. That 280, that's nothing. You could buy that in one minute. I mean, that at least that's not 300. And plus, I actually bought him off the theme, which was technically not necessarily illegal, but not allowed. Because they were having shipment delays. So, and then someone just decided to give me it. And I purchased it. And I bought him off the theme. And then his mouth wasn't working. So I returned him. But as you can see here, yes, he does appear in the Graveyard Shift. Which is not technically a movie. It's just a trailer. So he could... Uh, yeah, you could see... Because the movie got cancelled because... Of the shipping delays. That's why they did... I'm not sure... Yeah, they did do a horror film. So, that's what's happening. So, um, so I just love, like, the creativity. Meet the cast of The Graveyard Shift. Imagine if they still have all the props from them. Short, yeah. So, yes, here he is in the movie. His trading card. I do have one picture of him because... I have to delete all my projects um, for storage related, but they're all safe on YouTube, and I know they won't get copyrighted, so it's fine. Um, but you could see that the artist did an incredible job, like I said yesterday, and here he is in the movie. He does make a few appearances, but this is the only film setting he has that is not, um, or like screen time that he has. Um, like, you, like, without, and I'm not saying the Spirit Halloween trailer is bad at Flagship, like, what they filmed. I'm just saying that you could hardly see, because it was such a sunny day that day. And plus, I don't really know. You could actually see the people instead, which is kind of really cool. And so he will be one of the main antagonists, which makes sense, because he is absolutely incredible. Look at that guy is absolutely incredible, and I absolutely love him. I adore this prop. I absolutely adore it. It's just so cool to see um, Buzzsaw being featured in an actual movie instead of a canceled mini-movie, which I'm glad. Because, like, I don't know my reaction. What was my reaction to the when I saw Buzzsaw? I just loved him so much. And I was kind of shocked that he would be in the movie. Like, they have... This is just awesome. This is just like an absolute kill for Spirit Halloween. And it sucks that he doesn't return. It absolutely sucks. Like, Henry Hustle and Busta were the most popular ones last year. They could have brought him back. Oh, and don't forget about Wacky Mole. They could have done Busta, Henry Hustle, and Wacky Mole. No, not Wacky Mall, Barnyard Butcher. Those were the only two that they could have returned. Besides the ones that we have now. So, yeah. That was my overall thoughts on Buzzsaw. And, um, I love this prop. As you could tell from me, like, ranking it. Not necessarily ranking it, like, showing, like, telling you my opinion. So... I will, at the end of the week, I will be rank, making a ranking video, though. I don't have the tier list app, so I have to re-download it. But other than that, Buzzsaw is an absolute banger. So, those are my, like I was saying, those are my overall thoughts and opinions on Buzzsaw. Uh, let me know what, uh, if you like Buzzsaw or not in the comments below. And then during the week, tell me what your favorite prop is. Because we only have three days of this series. Because it's already Wednesday where I live. So, yeah. I hope um, I can keep up this series. Because I edit this in school and I do the voiceover when I get home. So, this is going to be pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. Tell me your opinions about Buzzsaw. So tell me you guys' thoughts and opinions on Buzzsaw in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.
拜拜。